Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I have a new client. Uh, she is an interior designer and I've shot a number of her jobs. She is fantastic. Uh, at one of the recent shoots, however, I made sort of a rookie mistake. I took a photo uh, where there were two sets of lights. One set of light was on, the other set was off. I sent her the photo. She said, I like it, but I don't love the, the lights that one's on, one's off. So I said, gee, in Photoshop, I could probably make it look like one of the sets of lights is on. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Let's jump on my computer. I'll show you the image and I'll show you how I address this problem and, uh, and save myself from a mistake. Okay, here we are in Photoshop on my computer and this is the image. Um, I think I, I like the shot. I love the design work. The problem is the lights over the kitchen island are off and the lights over the dining area back there are on. And ideally you would either have them both on or both off. And certainly that's how the decorator would have wanted it. I can't really turn the lights off back there. So I need to turn these lights on in Photoshop. And here's what it looked like when I did that. So here's kind of the before. Here's the after. Um, if you zoom in here, you'll notice that each of these lights has three bulbs inside them. So I want to illuminate those. I want to illuminate the whole globe. And I also need to put some light on the ceiling. If you look in the background, you'll see not only is the light illuminated, but the ceiling has light on it as well. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get in and do that. So let's zoom in a little bit. First thing I did was I wanted to put some light in the individual bulbs. And the way I did it was I chose the, I guess, elliptical selection tool and kind of just mapped out the, the bulb. Basically put it on there. I then used a curves adjustment layer. You start by pulling up and what you'll get is it's going to get brighter. Certainly what I selected. Uh, I got to do a couple things though. One, I'm going to get the color right. And secondly, I want to get, I need to put a feather on that as well. So for coloring, I went into the uh, blue channel. If I pulled up, of course it would be blue, which one I don't want. But if I pulled down, it's going to have a nice yellow tone to it. A little too yellow. I want it more orangey. So let's go into the red channel and pull up. And you start to get sort of this nice orange color, tungsten lighting. Next thing you need to do though, is you need to feather that because it's, it's way too defined. So click on the mask and you pull the feather over from the left and you start to get what looks like a somewhat more realistic illumination of this bulb. So here's the before, here's the after. And then I'm going to do the same thing, of course, with uh, the other bulbs. So I'll just take this one, uh, map out a circle, put it over it, curves adjustment layer. I'm going to pull up to brighten it. I'll go into the blue channel, pull down, add some yellow, uh, go to the red channel, pull up to make it you know, a bit more orangey. Uh, then I want to click on the mask and feather it, pull over and you don't want to go too far, but, and you'll notice that the colors are a little different between the two and I got to get those right. So really it does require a bit of uh, trial and error. Um, so I'm going to go into the blue channel and just pull down a little bit. Um, you know, getting closer. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it because, uh, you know, it would take me too long. You, you kind of get the point. Um, last thing I want to do is uh, go to this last bulb. And I'm just, even though it's hidden by something, I think if I feather it enough, it'll be fine. So I'm going to put that over it. Curves adjustment layer. Pull up. Go to the blue channel. Pull down to add the yellow. Go to the red channel, pull up to make it a bit more orangey, click on the mask and then feather it as well. And so now you're getting 
some glow in these individual bulbs. Let me back up a little bit, you can see. So here's the before with them off, and now they're on. However, there's gonna be a glow for the whole kind of orb as well, the whole light fixture. So let's go back to our selection tool. I'm going to select, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna feather it anyway. Actually, I'm gonna go here, um, and then let's go to a curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna pull up, I'm just gonna brighten it. A red channel, pull up a little bit. Blue channel, pull down to add the yellow, make it a bit more orangey. And then we're going to feather it, uh, pull over. So now you've got sort of this uh, nice glow for the whole light, but you also get some glow with the individual bulbs, which makes it look a bit more realistic. Let me back up a little bit. Uh, here's the before, totally off. Here's the after with it on. I'm not gonna do each individual light, but the last thing you need to do, of course, is to add some light to the ceiling. And all I did there was, I actually took a, uh, a lasso tool and I made you know sort of a selection up on the ceiling. You wanna remember, this is, it, you have to find the right dimension to it because some of the light would be coming up in the part of the ceiling that you can't see. And so I'm gonna just make the selection more around here. Uh, and I'm gonna do basically the same thing I did before. I'm gonna use a curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna pull up to brighten it. I'll pull down, uh, up on the red, add a little bit of red. And I want that orange glow, so we'll pull down on the blue to add the yellow. Uh, now we definitely need to feather this quite a bit. So let's pull the feather over. Uh, you can go quite a bit here. And that gives you a sense. Uh, so here's again the, whoops, stay here. Here is the before, it's all off. Here's the after. And again, you really do have to play with this to get the colors to match perfectly. But here was kind of my final result, which I ended up using a little less orange. Um, it, it, get, it just go to taste, but the decorator wanted a little bit cooler, so I did. Um, but kind of solve the problem, at least to the satisfaction of the, of the designer. Uh, I don't think it was perfect, but it, it made her happy enough. And again, you can literally play with this and really perfect it quite a bit. Uh, but it was, for me, kind of a, a good solution to a mistake that I made on site. Ideally, and next time, I'm going to get those lights to match. Hey, if you like this video, uh, it does help the channel just to give me a like. And if you like this kind of content, Photoshop tutorials, architecture, landscape, I do photo critiques. Uh, you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Uh, and until next time.